So, so if you all make yourselves comfortable, let's. So I think it was there was a little bit of stress for all of us over the last couple of days, or lots of thoughts, lots of energy, just sort of stacking. Um, it feels like very much so let's just let's just see what comfort looks like for us today okay and bring our eyes to a close pretty quickly today if we feel safe and comfortable to do so okay if not let's we can cap our eyes slightly or we can introduce that darkness and withdraw that sense a little slower um but if you have ideally shut your eyes already let's just tune in to how we're feeling how our bodies are communicating with us so that might mean that we're immediately drawn to a certain area so let's just not suppress that area we don't want to follow and engage but we want to acknowledge um, because that area is telling us where we have tension where we have stress, where we have pain. So let's just acknowledge to ourselves that that's happening. And let's just start by scanning through the body, body part by body part. And let's just start at the very top of the head. That point of contact between the back of the head and the hair and the surface underneath. The length of that contact. The width of the contact, the back of our neck where there could be a cushion of air or an actual cushion or t-shirt, something to support that part of our neck. And then the very top of our back which is sometimes a little bit humped um, and that makes contact with the surface that's supporting us and both of our shoulders and our shoulder blades stretching down into our back, the back of the heart which is making contact it's just supported by the surface behind the lower back down into the hips and pelvis noticing the firmness perhaps of the surface beneath us noticing that point of contact in its entirety its steadiness and unwavering support. It's as if in that hip area, the back of the thighs, that whole pelvis region, the earth is just providing a foundation and cradling you. 
with its strength, its stability, and also its durability. And stretching down into the back of the legs, through the hamstrings, at the back of the thighs, And then the hamstrings continuing down the back of the calves. Into the soles of the feet. And see if you can create a picture of roots growing from the soles of the feet. And also from the back of the feet, from the heels, and from the inside arches, the bottom of the feet, and the outside edges. So the root being really, really expansive. Just noticing that point of contact between the bottom of your body, the soles of the feet, and the floor, or if you have your feet elevated, the air which in turn is leading to the carpet, which even if you are on a first floor, the gravity is just pulling everything down. So gravity is such a huge force and works in union with the earth. Just reminding you that you're grounded. So this is what we call grounding. Grounding down into the earth, which provides a feeling of safety. If we let it, it might take a little while to trust it. And that you're home as well. You're home, you're in your own environment. So if you bring your attention from those points of contact to the breath. And just instead of concentrating on the in and out perhaps we can help foster the safety that's around us by using the olfactory part of our sinuses and brain by just breathing in and just paying attention to the smells And you might not be able to smell something vividly. Maybe you have a cold or you have had COVID or long COVID and your sense of smell is diminished or absent. But just notice if that part is working in a different way for you, if that's the case. So how does the, the smell feel as you breathe in? So as you breathe in, you're just drawing energy and air and 
information from all around you and that energy is seeping into every cell of your body. And that's done in the respiratory system, the oxygen passing through the blood barrier, feeding the cells, and then just envision as you exhale, any tension just being breathed out of the body. So we use the expression, oh, they've gone to ground, or when something has disappeared. So we, as we exhale, we don't need to think about how the earth is going to deal with any of the carbon dioxide. The plants and the trees, there is a whole biodiverse system that will do all that for us. So just exhaling, sensing perhaps a sense of calm, as you begin to feel safer, in your own environment. And if your thoughts start to play, if they start to ruminate, then don't feel the need to suppress them. Just bring your attention back, either to the breath, or to the feet and that picture of roots coming from all areas of the feet into the earth, leaving you feeling lighter and perhaps more peaceful. And you can also perhaps now picture just a sphere of light surrounding you. It's radiance fueled by the energy from the earth. So that sphere shields you it's like acting as a barrier. I often imagine mine made of Teflon. So things can come in. But as they approach, they become slower. And I think about the thoughts and the negativity. So I don't try to control it or stop it still passes through but it slows slows up and gives me time 
just in the stillness to see what's approaching. And don't forget you're safe. This is your environment. Familiar smells, familiar sounds. And the body perfectly held by the surface. And let's take some time to appreciate this sense of connection and grounding. So there are other people practicing the meditation, perhaps before us, with us and those practices to come. See if we can cultivate perhaps a sense of connection. With the other people And it doesn't have to look a certain way. Maybe we can just picture ourselves There's a tree and there's the wind blows through the tree. We see those leaves just lightly touch. And sometimes at this time of year, the leaves get ready to fall. They're not quite there yet, but it's approaching. It's just approaching. And sometimes that wind howls and sometimes it's a gentle, warmer than expected breeze. And however it feels, whatever our thoughts tell us, start to pull us away, we can come back to this connection, connection with the community with which we practice, connection with those people that we practiced with previously. practice with now and all the practices to come. But we remain stable against the surface, against the chair, in our own environment. So as well as having that feeling of connection there's also that feeling of individuality. The paradox of living. So just focus for these last few minutes on the breath, on the inhale and the exhale, that connection to the earth, 
that exhale as it releases feeling all those points of connection so starting with that connection with the earth on the exhale and the roots from the big toes the second toes third toes fourth toes and the balls of the foot the balls of each feet the heels connection with the surface of the calves all the intricate muscles of the calves the air and the delicacy of the back of the knee the thighs stretching from the delicacy up into the pelvis and the whole of that area resting against the stability of the surface and the small of the back the mid back just feeling the back of the heart resting supported by the deep shoulder blades up to the shoulders acknowledging the arms and where your hands are perhaps resting against the surface or your clothes the curve of the back of the neck and the whole of the back of the head and just coming up to the very top of the head that panoramic spot where we can see the whole of the room and before we open our eyes start to familiarize ourselves with what we're going to see the photos that we have in the room the way the light was before we closed our eyes perhaps an animal or some other people in the room the books television any plants and finding ourself within that space and gradually just bring in some movement perhaps into the shoulders very gently because the shoulders take a lot of weight and just contracting our muscles from our left side to our right side and then opening our eyes with that downward gaze just letting the light in gradually just having maybe been asleep or been off or been constantly pulling ourselves back to our focus just taking our own time just to come back <laughs> 